Kurt Staffy with Oxo Cycles, and something we have new here at Sea Otter is Fenrir. This is a bike that was designed with bike packing in mind. We wanted to make it as versatile as the cyclists that ride it. With, with Fenrir, you can build it with drop bars or with flat bars. You can build it with a suspension fork or a rigid fork. It's compatible with dropper posts. You can build it with gears or a single speed. You can do a mechanical drivetrain or an electronic drivetrain. The tire clearance on this one is 29 by 2.6 or 27.5 by 2.8. Fender is a um, stainless steel bike. Um, we really like the ride quality of stainless. It's, you know, every time you hear the word steel, you think it's going to be heavy. But stainless is actually quite light. It's almost surprisingly light, I guess. Um, it is smooth, it is soft, yet it's also kind of playful. It's fun. Um, we first launched our, one of our first bikes actually, our Warkin, uh, was the stainless. So we've had quite a bit of interest. There aren't a ton of stainless steel bikes in the world. So anytime um, you know that we say we have a new stainless bike or we have a stainless bike, uh, it does get quite a bit of interest. Yeah. So this is Fenrir, uh, but with the drop bar configuration. This one is more configured as a hardtail. Um, both bikes, you know, are well. I guess both configurations were made with bike packing in mind. Uh, but you know, if you're not on a tour, which is probably quite often. Um, it's great for just kind of riffing around in your local trails. Uh, this one has a suspension fork. We also put a dropper post on it. Um, and like all Hatsa bikes, uh, they have adjustable geometry with the tune-in chip rear dropout system. Uh, that will adjust the wheelbase. Um, it'll also raise or lower the bottom bracket height as well as change your head tube angle by plus or minus 0.2 degrees. Um, this one right here is in the rear position, which is more for stability, for longer days riding. Um, if you flip the tuning chip to the front position, um, it changes the handling. So it will give you a slightly steeper head tube angle with a shorter wheelbase, which is really great for kind of winding single track. Um, and we also do have a middle tuning chip position, which is kind of the best of both worlds. Uh, but this is something that is kind of, you know, it's, it's core to all of our bikes. We want our bikes to be versatile. Um, we want our bikes to be fun, and we want them to be perfect for whatever the day of riding holds ahead. Hey, I'm Kurt Staffy with Bulletproof Components, and I'm going to show you our new 8-bit multi-tool system. So, you're wondering about the name 8-bit. That's because it's all based on our 8-bit pack players, which were released in fall of 2020. This is a 17-function multi-tool. Um, inside, we have 6 bits, and they all fit in this 8 mil driver and the other end. So what you can do, take out, let's say your four mil, hey, on, and on, then on you could use this to kind of fix, let's say your stem nuts or something. Put it back inside. They'll kind of nest inside via magnets. Uh, there is also a RAS right here, the silver thing for uh, clearing sealant from your valve stems. And then this little tool here is um, a spoke wrench and a valve core wrench. And then of course, um, on the, the main function of the tool, is for removing and installing quick links. Uh, there's also this inner groove is for your valve stem nuts. So when we launched this, we immediately started thinking, all right, well, what else can we do that would essentially be like kind of a, kind of a complete multi-tool system? So this will be something that will get you back to the next trailhead or get you to the next town, you know, just keep you rolling. So what we did, we added a tire lever has a nice spot ergonomic for, for your thumb. It's also nice and long and strong. And then on the other end of it is a rim dent remover. This will work with any metallic bike rim. And the third tool is our 8-bit chain breaker and utility knife multi-tool. So on one end, you have a utility knife with a mini blade. This will be good for trimming tire plugs or zip ties or anything else that you might need while you're out. On the other end is your chain breaker that does have a swivel head. Inside the tool there is this L key. On the short end of the L key is a three millimeter Allen and that is what then drives your chain breaker. And you can also see on the other end of it is this forked end. This is your tire plug insert. So 
included with the purchase of this one is one sheet of five tire plugs. Uh, but what you could do is take a tire plug, put it on the forked end, and it'll actually fit right here inside the slot of the tool, just like this. So in this way, now you have some grip when you want to do your tire plug. This one also has storage for a valve port. And of course you can keep, it does come with an extra blade and then you can put your uh, sheet of bacon strips, tire plug inserts, whatever you want to call them, depending on how hungry you are inside. And of course these all nest together via magnets and some pretty clever machining. So um, the 8-bit system uh, is available individually as well as a complete set. So let's say you already have your 8-bit pack pliers, you can buy just the tire lever rim net remover or just your chain breaker utility knife multi-tool. So that way you can include your original 8-bit pack pliers with it and like most wolf tooth products, if you lose any of the bits, we also have replacements for you just like anything with our headsets, with our dropper levers. If it's possible to have a replacement part, we also have it. This one um, will be available October 14th on our website and wherever Wolf 2 components are sold.